what's good y'all welcome to today's video today we got some new parts for my z31 i know y'all been missing it so anyways let's get this started all right y'all let's go ahead and peek at this uh, da, da, da. all right just kidding y'all It's clean, dog. Damn. It's fucking nice. Hell yeah. New motor. Again, these are Carrillo pistons in the block. Also, they are connected to scat beam rods. All right, y'all, so one of the other things we have this new block. We got a BS Racing Turbo. It's a 6262 82 AR. This thing is massive. It's so good, I'm so excited to run this. It's huge. Shout out to Joe, he made these custom coolant and oil feed lines for me too for the turbo. This thing is huge, you guys. Look at how big compared to my hand. It's gonna be so awesome. In case you guys are wondering, this is gonna be going on a relocation pipe, so this will be a top mount single turbo now. I'm trying to get you guys a better view of everything on this block. Here you see the dash 10 bone welded on. Joe did paint this block for me as well, which is really nice. Oh, I'm so excited for this. Here's the relocation pipe. I actually got this from a junkyard Z31 a couple years ago, so I'm happy I'm able to actually utilize it now. Got a wastegate flange welded on here too for the external wastegate. Here, as you can see, we got Jimmy's uh, down pipe. It's nice because this is going to go ahead and connect to the stock down pipe. Well, my CM down pipe, I have one already. So sick. Here, this is also for the witness gate to dump back into the exhaust so it's not screaming, killing everyone's ears. Also, Joel made me this really cool neg uh, dash 10 and line for the oil return feed. It's gonna go straight to the block of the turbo. I mean, uh, oil pan. This big guy, you can see we got a BS Racing blow off, uh, wastegate, blow, BS Racing wastegate as well. This was a 44 mil wastegate. This will be going on the car. And I have a matching uh, BS Racing blow off out too. I just didn't bring it today. That one's at home. All right, y'all. So I kind of laid out everything that I received today. So again, let's kind of go over everything. Here's the new turbo. This is VS Racing 6262 Turbo with a .82 AR. Let's tell how big this thing is again. This thing is just massive. Should spool really nice. We have a VS Racing 44 millimeter external wastegate, relocation pipe, dash 10 AM line. These are some custom lines that Joe from Zenon Z Cart made for me to be able to run this turbo. Here is the new downpipe with the new uh, wastegate pipe as well. It's going to be feeding into that. What's good, y'all? 
As y'all can tell from those previous clips, I'm hella excited to have new parts to go on my Z. I also want to give a huge shout out to Joe over at Xenon Z Cart for not only hooking me up on my new built VG, but also taking care of the fabrication needed to run my new turbo setup as well. So shout out to Joe, thank you, I appreciate it. On top of what you guys saw in my crate from Xenon Z Car, I picked up some other new parts too. As mentioned earlier in those clips, I didn't only just get a new turbo and wastegate, I also got a blow off valve. This is a VS Racing blow off valve to complement my trio of new turbo parts from VS Racing. Now I've heard nothing but good things from it. VS Racing from a lot of people inside and outside the Z31 community, including a lot of the OGs as well. Outside of turbo upgrades, I also got another upgrade. This scudded maximum plenum. This unit is made by Mario Nostradamus. He, uh, he's someone in the Z31 community who guts stock Z31 plenums as well as maximum plenums like this one you have here. Now, according to some information I found online on another Z31 site, the Maximum Plenum does have a slightly better flow stock for stock compared to the Z31 Plenum. Also, it being a front entry Plenum makes it a lot easier to route piping and it looks symmetrically better too. To help gain more benefits with this new Plenum, I'm also going to be running a 60mm throttle body from a single overhead cam S13KA motor. The stock Z31 throttle body is only 54mm so this one is going to be an upgrade as well to go with the pl new Plenum. Now on this unit here that Mario makes, not only does he add this extension here so it clears and you can run it properly, uh, this is actually a, key, a, a custom to about 64 millimeters, uh, I believe he said. So you can have up to a 64 millimeter throttle body put on this. He has a flange for you. He also cleans this up. Now this rear hose, a rear hole back here, this is gonna be for the brake booster. He does include a fitting for this. This is a, a quarter uh, NPT. And all these other plugs you see here are a quarter BSPT. And he also keeps the stock uh, ports on here for you too, as well as has a throttle body ca cable too. I hope y'all are excited for these new ports as much as I am. Um, the, I am super excited to have the Z up and running again and having, run, having it running better than ever. Uh, for all y'all that know me, you know, I've had the Z, you know, about eight years now. This car is my baby. Um, I've had it you know so long so i'm just super happy to have all these new parts to really have it show its potential and what i know the car can do and what it will do uh, i know you guys are going to love the new content with the new z even the content uh, we make when we're putting the new swap in and installing all the new parts as well so i hope you guys enjoyed the video i hope you guys uh enjoy all the content we're putting out and uh yeah if you guys enjoy make sure you guys like share this video with a friend and let me know what kind of new parts are you excited to get for your car soon Thanks for watching. Take care. I'm going to see you guys in the next one. Peace.